we're going to sleep. Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're at the Intercontinental Hotel next to the O2. Joined my Nathan Gorman who's just told me he was on a speedboat this morning. Tell me about it. Fucking horrible. I won't, I won't recommend it. I was not a fan of boats. Not a fan of boats or water. Um, but you know, it was, it was an experience for sure. Why were you in a speedboat? What were you doing, just filming a promo or something? I, I don't know, I just got told he had to come on a speedboat. So obviously doing it, we just done, took, up, took a couple of photos and then 10, 20 second interview, obviously went around seeing the sights and stuff and that, that was about it really. Okay, so you had yourself, Daniel, uh, yeah. Brian and Joe Joyce on All it? All the heavyweights on there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't good, there was no room. Was it, were the others enjoying it? Did you watch them much? Yeah, I think so. I think they enjoyed it. If it was only me, would have enjoyed it. <laughs> right, Nathan, uh, before we come on uh, to you and Daniel, I do want to talk about the weekend events. Uh, I'm guessing you've watched Joshua Ruiz. Yeah, I watched it, yeah. Um, listen, Ruiz, I said this before, he can fight. Proof's in the pudding, he can fight, can't he? You know what I mean? Granted, a lot of people will give him a stick for what he looks at on the, on the scales, but take, you love it or hate it, he is now the unified world champion is yes. he's got all the belts three belts all the he's got all the belts so he's the man he's the man that everyone wants now the minute because he's the man with all the belts um i imagine joshua will rebuild and come back and rematch him it'll be another good fight again um i'm actually really glad for ruiz the reason being obviously i didn't like seeing joshua get beat you know he's a fellow englishman i'd like to see him you know go on and go forth but after the fight was said and done and he won and everything, I just like what Rui said about, you know, he said, mother will never have to struggle again. You know what I mean? And I thought, yeah, touch a class that was for me. Mm. You can see how much it meant to him. 100%. It's changed his life, hasn't it? Mm. It's changed his life. So. Nathan, when we look back at heavyweight shocks in the past, it's always been sort of a, or well, majority of the time, it's been like a, a one-punch KO and a, yeah. someone's just landed that a big shot. This, this was a beating up, really. Yeah, Did that surprise you? Um, no, not really. It didn't surprise me because I, I said in previous interviews, I said I wouldn't be surprised if there would be a, a major upset. It happened, didn't it? Yeah, but in you know that I mean? fashion, where he got dropped four times? Um, I, a little inkling of me thought that Ruiz was going to win, but I didn't think he was going to do you know the way he'd done it, you know, because he'd done it in spectacular fashion, didn't he? And obviously coming up off the, the canvas with a heavy shot. Remember that same uppercut where Joshua threw then? Look what he did to Klitschko. Mm. You know what I mean? It finished Klitschko off, didn't it? So, um, he, he, he done fantastic, you know what I mean? He's, like I said before, he's a world champion now, and all credit to Also, there's been a lot of conspiracy theories going around. Have you seen this on Twitter, that Joshua yeah, was said, ill, I've, food I've, poisoning? Yeah, yeah, I've said that he's been ill, panic attacks and all yeah. stuff like that. I've seen Eddie re uh, tweet saying that there was, you know, there was nothing wrong going into that fight. So, you don't know. You don't want to believe the other media. The only people who will really know, I'd imagine, will be Joshua, obviously. His dad, and I'd imagine, his trainer and Eddie Earn. So, you don't know. Mm. You don't know. What do you think the likes of uh, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Dylan White are thinking about this? Well, it's created a lot of open doors, isn't it? Yeah, again, you know, the heavyweight division now is it's open, open all doors. You know, you got Ruiz with three or four belts now, and yeah, apparently the IBF is going to take strip him or something like that. So I read, I don't know if it's true or not. That's what oh, I read. really? That's what I read on the internet. But whether it's true or not, time will tell, won't it? Um, so yeah, it creates it creates a lot of fights there, doesn't it? Just a, a last one on this. In the rematch, uh, Eddie Hearn said that they're going to take it yeah. uh, sort of November, December time in the UK. Yeah. How do you think that rematch goes? Uh, same again. You know, I'm going to obviously back Joshua, but I wouldn't be surprised if Ruiz beats him again. I really wouldn't. I, that's what I said before. I said I, 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 I won't doubt him. You know, I do like the way he fights. He's got that typical Mexican style. Doesn't really give a fuck, does he? Let's be fair. You know, he's got balls to burn, and he just comes forward and has it out. Do you think anything's going to change in sort of that four months where the result's going to differ? Um, not really, no, because, well, it depends. You don't know what Joshua's doing in his camp. Remember, so, uh, Andy Reid's, what, do you have six, seven weeks to prepare for it? Six weeks. Six weeks. He's going to have a full camp He's going to have time. a full 12 weeks, isn't he, with proper sparring, etc. and stuff. He's not going to come in back after two back-to-back -back camps because it's draining, that is. If you had to put your last pound on it, who would you go for? I, I just like Ruiz. I've always liked him, so I'd back with Ruiz. Okay. Right, um, not long to go now, uh, yeah. you and Daniel Dubois. Yeah, soon here, soon here. How's everything going? Going really well. Going really, really well, you know, I'm ahead of schedule. So really, man, I'm just counting down the days now, you know what I mean? We've only got just under six weeks to go, so 
Yeah, flying. Just can't wait to get in there now, you know, and do, do, do the business. I can mm. see uh, the British belts up there at the minute. So, uh, can't wait for that to be on my mantelpiece. Every day I check my emails, I'm getting a press release, and uh, the Bois really, you know, piping up. We haven't seen this side of Daniel before. Is he, He's really geared up. Is he? <laughs> you don't know, do you, with him? Um, is he? Say, say it does what he wants, can't he? But when we're in the middle of that ring, and we're throwing punches at each other, the, all the talking, all the whatever, your opinions, go out for the window. You know what I mean? It's just me and him there. He can have as much smoke blow up your ass, mate, as much as you want, you know what I mean? But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, we go that way, and the other people go that way. So. Stylistically, I know you're not going to give too much away, but how do you think you'll go in there? Sorry? How do you think you'll go in there? I know you're not going to give too much away. Oh, I'm prepared for whatever it takes, you know. What, what, what I'm doing in the gym, you know, whatever it comes, you know, boxing, uh, fighting, whatever, you know, we've got every aspect and corner all sorted, mate. So uh, we're just re ready for him to bring whatever he wants to the table. We'll, 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 we'll be more than prepared for him. The biggest worry I've heard about you going into this fight is that people aren't sure you've got enough power to keep him off. Are you going to prove everyone wrong? Time will tell, eh? <laughs> Let him see. That's what I said. They go that way, me and him's going to go that way, so time will tell. Mm. I know you don't want to be thinking past the bar because it's, a, it's, a, it's the first big step up, even though Daniel said uh, it's, it's his easiest fight for you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you don't want to be thinking past, but possibly the winner of Joyce Jennings? Yeah, you know, obviously, like you said, I can't think past Daniel at all. You know, Daniel's my full main focus. But yeah, there's another fight there that can be made, you um, the winner out of Joyce and Brian, you know, but um, I know them both quite reasonably well, so it's an easy fight to happen. You know, I'm 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 in this I'm in this sport here, not to not to pick and choose my matches. You know, I want to be I want to be known for fighting who the best was at the time, and I want to share the ring with these people. You know what I mean? I don't want to go down as someone or he took the easy route and stuff like this. You know, these are the fights I want to be involved in. Well, Nathan Gorman, appreciate your time on IFL no TV. Problem, thank and, you. Uh, wish you the best of luck for the July Cheers, 13th. Mate. Thank you. Thank you. Dave. Take care. Yeah. Sleep.